Guys, I think I figured out the plot. Kayaba was Yui. And Kayaba's goal was to leave this game because he's got himself locked in. And through Yui's data that Kirito has taken out, Kayaba will now live in a Tamagotchi acting as Yui when Kirito gets out of the game. No, that's probably not the plot, but I really do wonder. What is Kaiba doing right now? The existence of Yui, the AI, you know, like, and then we have like this, this cardinal system that just maintains everything. It's really fascinating, like the whole system of this game itself, and as well as the person who created it, who's just disappeared, just hasn't really done anything. I'd like to think that he's just like a random player or NPC, just like chilling around and having fun, but it's like, I don't know. I don't know. This is the start of a new arc. Maybe the Asuna Kirito marriage arc is over and we're going to get back to the hype shit. Let's begin today's reaction. This is uh, looking like a marriage episode again, huh? Retired life fishing. Yeah, we're just a fisherman now. Dual wield fucking fishing rods, dude. He should dual wield the fishing rods. What the fuck? What the fuck? That's Kaiba. <laughs> this is Kaiba. <laughs> Kaiba. Hey, look at this. I bet he's gonna fucking fish the most OP fishes. Nishida. Kayaba? Cool. What is it amazing? This guy worked at a company that was in charge of this game's network security. He was an IT specialist there. What the fuck? What the fuck? Hold, hold, where are we going with this? Master Fisherman. Damn, it's like a colorful fish too. Way better than whatever Kirito's ever caught. <laughs> cooking. We got a woman who can cook for you. Level 10 cooking skills. Asuna fucking chopped and the fish will just... Oh, don't worry. Asuna can make that. That's right. Cooking a woman's job. Please don't take that out of context. I'm a feminist at heart, okay? Jesus. The Depth of Hell. Um, That's quite the title for an episode. Yeah. That's right, Asuna got that mixing sauces to make soy sauce flavor. Level 99 fisherman. He's not a real man, he's a boy. Oh, bald. Also, the bad man is bald, dude. John's excuses. Huh? Wait, 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 what? Not all of them. Oh. What? Chooses you? A king lurking in it? Kingfish? Is the depth of hell literally the bottom of this fucking lake where that fucking we find a fish? Is this a fishing episode, bro? This is it? Okay. Asuna's really interested. Wanna catch it together? Why would Kirito even be able to help? He fucking sucks at fishing. Switching with the fishing... Wait, we're switching with the fishing rod? You know how the switch system here works? You know, we fucking Asuna Giat. You know how like we were doing an attack and then go switch Kirito and then Kirito comes from behind and attacks like that? Dude, Kirito should just go Starburst fucking fishing rods. Just dual wheel the fishing rods. Eat it. We're gonna have some baby making night again. We gonna make some sweet love. Dude, look at that smile that she has. You want my fishing rod now? Remember, he's bringing it up now. Remember that episode? I bring this topic every time. That one episode where Stone the Kirito was just looking at the sky and Asuna came up and said, Hey, what are you doing? You're supposed to be the friend right? And Kirito's like, shh, 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 just, just enjoy the view. And now she just went on a fucking vacation. And Asuna doesn't give a fuck about the front lines. Come on now. Don't act like you have a fucking duty to uphold. People are already dead. But now, I need to protect my loved ones. Yeah. Oh, really now? Does this mean that Yui can see everything that's happening? Because Yui, our video game daughter, is in this fucking necklace. And if you're going to wear that fucking necklace where you're pounding cheek, I feel like Yui should not witness stuff like this. You know what I mean? You're, that's your daughter! 
At least take it off. All right, it's fine. Is this just calm before the storm? We've just been on vacation for the longest time. Damn, it's a fishing tournament, dude. <laughs> I'm making a waiter. You never even thought of it. That's right. That's why you're just watching me. And I'm trying to actually make some funny content, bro. While you fucking there, sit there and fucking hate, dude. Okay, go Nishida. I'm going to catch the fucking depth of hell and catch that fish. Is this the fucking sword art? Cause like the the fucking the rod glue. It's this is it's, it's it's the fucking same sound. Rod art line. Rod art online. Bald bald. Dual wield it. Starburst stream this shit. Have you ever played a fishing game in a video game, right? MMO, right? There's like a bar, right? The fishing goal. And there's like this little delicate spot you gotta get it on. No! Switch! Switch! Switch, come on! Oh, you're gonna fuck it up now. The fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where is it? Did you just fuck up? So I think that everyone just ran away because they realized how dangerous it was and Kirito's line just got cut, right? So. This is Kayaba! How the fuck are you gonna hide behind her? Bro. Bro. Bro, how are you gonna hide behind your fucking wife? Dude, the body language or he immediately hides behind Asuna for protection? <laughs> Dude, what happens if this fish actually like kills someone here? Cause I'm sure the fish can do damage to the humans. People would like die. Huh? Could you imagine if cause of death in this game was like from the fish? Imagine dying in SAO after you decide that this world is too dangerous. I'm not gonna play this video game bullshit, fight the fucking floors. Nah, I'm gonna go to this place and chill out, have a nice vacation, and just fish. And imagine you die here from a fucking fish, dude. That is sad. Long fish, yes, I get the joke. The flesh! Damn. Yes. Our oh, wife fight for us. Damn. <laughs> Bro was so shocked. <laughs> Nishida's, just face, Nishida's facial reactions are fucking goaded. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, how the fuck did you not realize that it was Asuna up to this point, but she was wearing a hood the entire time. I still how the fucking army didn't know who Asuna was in fucking floor one, dude. Like, everyone should know her, huh? But everyone knows her, right? She's got that fucking cult. She's got that. Look at Nishida's face, still, dude. Huh? Heathcliff. Heathcliff, please call them back. Please. We've been fucking around here for too long. Wait, rest up. They went on a two week vacation. Are we coming back? Are we coming back though? I feel like after we leave, we're not gonna come back. Bald. 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 Well, yeah, everyone here is just chilling, you know? Bro's afraid of getting laid off. He already got laid off. So he's like, shit. I've been away from the job for fucking two years. I mean, fuck, I'm not gonna have another job. I might as well stay here. Some people, I guess would just do better in this world compared to the real world, huh? What an interesting uh, scenario we have where some people would rather stay here. It just benefits them more. I'm sure he's not the only one either. Damn. 
And then I met this fucking 14 year old edgy cringe lord and he changed my life? Cool, cool. And then there he is. And then there he is. People are dying. What are you doing? Wasting your time. You have a duty. Yeah. Which is a fucking lie. The weather has been fucking beautiful every fucking episode that we went outside. I swear to God, that was not the nicest season. That's some bullshit. The weather has been fucking spectacular every day. Mm. And then she got up and then we drew like on her face near a bridge, but this one we didn't. And then she's like, she pulled a sword on us, right? And then she's like, oh, how dare you? Conveniently skip that part. Okay. Is it, it, was he enjoying life? Or was he just going through depression, running away from all his problems, people are dying all around him, I have no reason to fucking live anymore. Here, Klein, take this fucking thing, it doesn't matter to me anymore. I, was he enjoying life? Ah, uh, sure. Sure, you okay? Kirito, my boyfriend! Wow. Actually, husband. When I slept with him in mind. You should leave these details out from the bed. You, you, you're gonna tell him how hard he fucking just dual wielded those cheeks? Like, wow, Asuna, so nice. You've never said such nice things to Kirito ever. He's my savior. Aww. Damn. True. Putting that nerve gear on. She, she was able to meet her husband. And he was able to meet his wife. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Thank you, Kaiba. Kaiba goaded. Nishida is a man in his 60s that is done with the prime of his life. You guys are the main characters of this show. Nishida does not have a bright future like you. Okay, let the man... Fish in peace and, l and live the remainder of his like, golden age okay here, okay? I don't know if there's something out for him. If he goes back, he might just ha not have any job. Yes, you, you enjoyed it. The fishing was great, yes. Goated. Hopefully, we get to see Nishida again. Unless this is truly Kai about the entire time. Hey, grandson. As soon as they leave, imagine, you know, Nishida starts talking like... <laughs> All according to plan. Maybe Kaiba wants, you know, Kirito to understand what true happiness is, right? Kaiba wants Kirito to understand what true happiness is. And when, when he's at the height of his happiness, we fucking take everything down. Okay, scouting party was wiped out. 20 players from 5 guilds and they all got wiped? Did anyone see what happened inside? No. Do you think Cardinal, the system, is this, this realizing that these fucking shitty ass players are abusing the crystal teleportation out of a boss's, you know, boss layer mech? So he's like, nah, we canceled that shit. You think, you think Cardinal is intentionally making this shit happen? <laughs> The boss and the players are gone? The soundtrack is so good, no. So we need like the biggest party ever to go in there. Cliffhanger, I'm uh, sorry, foreshadowing maybe? Interesting philosophy here, huh? I, I always love this, um, um, what's it called? The duality of man. So listen to what Heathcliff says. A person who has something to protect is strong, but a person who has nothing to lose, right? Who do you think is stronger? Someone that has something to lose or someone that has nothing to lose and everything to gain? I don't know. I, I always, you know, enjoy these like um, random armchair philosophies as if I'm ever going to be in a situation where shit like this matters. But it's like, I feel like nothing to lose is in a situation to, you know, survive harder like if you have something to lose that means you have something to lose that's like a liability right but if you have nothing to lose then truly you have only everything to gain but again yeah if your main character it's just plot armor kicks in 
Soundtrack goaded. The soundtrack is so fucking good. Make baby. Make me a sandwich. Uh, you okay? Your sandwiches taste like shit this entire time. Oh. Asuna won't! She would never do that, right? To protect Kirito. Hmm. A man with something to lose, man. That's pretty selfish, man. She feels the same way, so... No way she's gonna stay here. Oh, Jesus! Oh. Yo, let's just go back to the fishing. Let's chill here. Yeah! Honestly, that doesn't sound bad. What if Asuna is Kaiba? You're crazy! Unless? What is happening to our real bodies? Are the bodies just like hooked up in the fucking tube? And we just have IV drip? And it's just some dystopian fucking, you know, room of all these different pods of people hooked up like the Matrix? Like, what's going on in the real world? We have never seen back in the real world just yet, right? What's going on? Are we still in bed? How, how are we pooping in pee-pee? Are we just shitting the bed? How bad does our bodies look now? Kind of. And it's your physical body, yeah. Oh, now I bet you fucking regret spending two weeks fucking fishing! Aww. Imagine she said it have a real daughter. Could you imagine if she says, I want to I wanna date you like real. I want a real marriage. I want a real daughter. You're not real, Yui. You don't mean that, mom. <laughs> All right, we got to beat the game. We got to beat the game. Let's go back in. <laughs> like, if you tell me that this is episode 13 and episode 14, and then we go to like core two, something crazy must happen tomorrow episodes, huh? Like, episode 14, something fucking insane must happen. Like, what though? Are we that close to beating the fucking game? We're only on the 75th floor, like, what could happen? Is my man Kaiba finally gonna make an entrance? Like, where is he? What is he doing? Oh, look at these eyes of disgust, dude. They can all die, dude. They can all die. Are they mad that we went on a two-week break, or is it the fact that we're oh. a beater? My man, Kyle and Tiffany! They're still alive, but I'm kind of worried. I'm kind of worried that Balls Deep and Tiffany might die in this upcoming episode. If we're leading to like a finale, like, I don't feel good about this. Especially Klein. Yeah, aren't you just a shop owner, bro? What are you? Alright. I love the banter between these two. <laughs> Heathcliff? Ooh, damn, dude, the armor looks so, so only Heathcliff wears all red, huh? And all the other boys just wear the regular clansmen, you know, white and red. But look at that, straight up, it is the clan, dude. They just need the pointy hats. You know, so far, I've been making meme choices on who Kaiba could be. And I've been having a lot of fun with it. But maybe the most obvious guess in front of me is Heathcliff, huh? If we were to assume that Kaiba is one of these characters, doesn't it make sense that someone that could fucking stop time and fucking cheat could do this shit? And bro has the fucking battle pass armor, you're right! He's fucking paid to win! Except if he's an admin, he can make this shit. I don't know, that time control shit was extremely sus, but like... It is Heathcliff, isn't it? Like, who else could it be? What other character is there behind the scene? Fucking Kibao from the army? You think Kibao is he? No way. Could be Klein this entire time? Maybe Kirito is Heathcliff. Sorry, Kaiba. Nah, I'm still going with Yui. Yui is the fucking Kaiba, and Yui's gonna get out of this video game world. Okay. Okay. Something feels off though, huh? I don't feel good about this at all. Kirito, what's up? Really? 
Surely this is not death. Like, don't you think this is the perfect opportunity to kill Asuna or some shit? Like, we just had two weeks of fucking vacation. Isn't this insane death flags? Like, insane amount of fucking death flags. <laughs> Sachi PTSD coming again. All right, here we go. Dual wielding already. Oh my. Tiffany, please stop saying die, please. <laughs> Empty ass room. Where's the boss? Usually there's like blue torches that light up and shit, huh? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a lot of platforms. <laughs> Feel like this is a bait. Oh, there's a monster, there's a monster, there's a monster. <laughs> like a skeleton spider? <laughs> oh, that's a lot of fucking HP bar. Skull Reaper, am I supposed to know that name? I guess it's like a very famous monster that everyone knows of. First to death. First to death. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yeah, one shot. One shot, and that's a lot of HP. Holy. Ooh, Giga Chat Heathcliff. Yo, Heathcliff, fucking stop time or some shit. Oh, again. Heathcliff, Asuna, Kirito. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Yo, the fucking sword man is playing. Yo, no, 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 no. Oh. No, Tiffany's good. Tiffany can take one more than one hit. He good, he good. The HP is not going down, man. Starburst stream! Starburst stream! Come on! Oh, climb! So the ha the ha the bad baby! Husband and wife combo attack! Don't you dare cliffhanger me! That's another fucking cliffhanger, but goddamn. Hey, we're fucking back. We're we're fucking back. You know, no more fucking around. Two week fucking vacation. Random fucking fishing and Kirito realizes that holy shit. For these two weeks, bro. Like we've been just like fucking ourselves up. Huh? Our body just been gone out. Huh? Like, oh my god. But hey, we're back on the front lines. And we're supposed to beat this boss because it's the hardest thing ever. And the most sus thing is this CGI skeleton thing apparently. Like no, nobody exists in the room. I mean, I guess it makes sense that the Skull Reaper is just like hiding and then, you know, you know, basically at the top ceiling and the bodies are basically just like, you know, either killed. They, if the bodies are killed, it gets shattered. So I guess it's not that suspicious, huh? But I guess this is the main boss, but I just don't understand how like beating this like random Skull Reaper boss is going to be like this grandiose finale until we go to part two, right? Like there's got to be, got to be some kind of fucking plot twist that we still haven't anticipated yet, but hey, We'll find out on tomorrow's episode, but hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.